Hey there gang, Kawaii50 here with a channel update. Now, this is, this is gonna be different. So I said in the past, when they ended up bringing up that uh, video on, you know, FGOs, no streaming content guidelines and all of that, that I felt like a lot of content creators were going to just think about it and potentially throw up their hands and be like, you know, if ultimately you don't want me to stream your game, well, I guess I just won't then. And this kind of seems like one of those things that I might have to be a part of. Now, I'm going to be honest, FGO has been kind of losing its luster for me for a long time. The gameplay I like to see from games, you know, deep, varied gameplay that provides a ton of engagement, a ton of focus. It isn't, it isn't necessarily there at all. So that has sort of been pushing me back when it comes to the story chapters. While well, the story itself is really, 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 really good, it hasn't necessarily seemed like enough to get me playing. And I sort of came to this realization when this recent Gouda Gouda event drops because I didn't do it. I didn't do any of the event. I didn't feel like doing the event at all. I didn't super duper feel like continuing to make content about it. There were other things out there that I felt like I wanted to play. I wanted to play Frostpunk 2 instead. I wanted to rerun through Final Fantasy 16 instead. I Hell, I ended up picking up Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle, and that game's been out for nine years, and I decided I kind of would rather play the bubble-popping Dragon Ball game with Silly from the movie animations than FGO. I don't want you all to think this is a knee-jerk reaction, because it's, it's really, really not. Please don't consider it that way if any other people frame it that way in the comments section or something like that. It's definitely not the case. It's something I've been routinely thinking about as I go and look at my content and consider what I really want to get out of YouTube. I really want to, you know, push my love for games in general. I want to try a bunch of new things. I want to try and push my own editing skills to the next level and try to do more interesting edits, more interesting videos, maybe even longer form videos. I've mentioned this sort of in passing, but I've kind of been recording a ton of footage for Final Fantasy 16 because I really want to make a video about that. I want to, you know, gush about Final Fantasy 16 for a long time. I want to show off a bunch of footage. That is a project that I want to do for me. Looking at other games that are coming out, you know, I want to play more Monster Hunter with Monster Hunter Wilds coming out. That looks incredible. I've been sorely neglecting playing fighting games, which I adore. I adore playing fighting games. I've given up recording fighting game content and putting that out there and just, you know, playing games I have fun with and happening to build a video around it because I feel like, well, no, I can't do that. I have to do a fake Grand Order video or the algorithm is going to punish me because that is the niche it has decided that my channel's in. And I just, it's really drained a lot of the fun out of YouTube. I mean, don't get me wrong, I had a ton of fun making fake content previously. Uh, there were tons of things I really, really enjoyed doing, but it, it's honestly gotten to the point where making a fake video feels like a chore. And that's, that's not what I signed up for when I decided to do this. That's not what I wanted to get out of doing YouTube as I ended up making these videos and pushing stuff out. I wanted, to, you know, do something I had fun with, make videos I had fun making and could be proud of just to showcase my love of gaming as a hobby in general to the world at large. And focusing on just a single game isn't really going to accomplish that. I know that some people might be disappointed in this decision. I know that some people might leave because of this decision. And that is entirely your prerogative. You can completely and totally do that. I understand. I get it. You might have mainly just come to me for FGO stuff. And now that I'm not necessarily wanting to do it anymore. I mean, you might, you might bounce. You might go to somebody else. Honestly, that's okay. Kind of feels like there's a, there's a couple of people that really have the, uh, have the monopoly on 
fake content. So maybe maybe check out somebody else or something like that. I don't know. Um, but I mean, I tried. I pushed. Ultimately, I just ended up falling out of it. And I really don't know what else I can say to that. I know I was trying to get to 10,000 subs this year. It doesn't necessarily seem like that's going to happen late in the later in this year unless I try to do something different and I want to try to do something different in a way where even if it doesn't happen I'm not going to feel completely and utterly disappointed that I didn't meet this goal for myself because at the end of the day I still made videos I wanted to make I still made videos I had fun making and I still talked about stuff I really enjoy talking about throughout the entire portion of the video that if if I can at least do that, then even if I don't meet my goal, I can just, I guess, move the goalposts, as a lot of people say, and just try for it again next year, or try for it again next year, or whatever. What matters is at least while I'm making the videos, while I'm putting the stuff out there, I have fun with it, and I am, you know, ultimately making something that I would have personally wanted to watch. Because as it stands with some of the FGO videos I'm making right now, as my interest continues to wane in the game, that would mean that those aren't necessarily videos I would want to watch if I'm no longer interested in the game. And I just, I can't bring myself to do that. I can't bring myself to pull myself away from that core philosophy. So yeah, I guess that's the announcement right there. Sorry if this video wasn't super duper exciting, but you all, you know, you people who watch me, who give me your support, deserve to know, you know, what I'm thinking in the capacity of this channel and what I want to do for the future. So expect some different videos, expect some different games as I try out some new stuff and, you know, try to see what I find myself in a comfortable groove of making, because that is ultimately going to be my goal starting this is to just find something I am comfortable making. And I just want to continue making things in that style. There's a lot of different YouTubers I've been watching. There's a lot of different ideas I have going around in my head. So I kind of want to try and do that to push myself and ultimately make better videos for everybody that is watching me. I am also completely and utterly open to collaboration. Feel free to, you know, message me, email me, hit me up on Twitter, you know, hit me up on Discord, reach out to me however you would like. And odds are I'm gonna end up saying yes or move something around in my schedule because I love playing games with people. I'll play games with you. I'll talk about games with you. I don't give a damn. I do that for free. I do that in my free time. Let's do it on YouTube too. Why not? Ultimately, I just want to do something that really encapsulates my love for games. So that is the ultimate impetus behind this decision. Uh, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. Let me know if you think there's anything that you would like to see me do in the future. Because remember, on top of making these video games for the uh, these videos for myself, I'm also making these videos for all of you. So let me know things that you would potentially like to see that would probably, you know, spark something in me to go ahead and try something new, try something different. There's so many people out there in the world. You've probably had ideas that I necessarily haven't even thought of. So, you know, go ahead and let me know. I, I just, let me know. Let me know. We're at a weird, <laughs> we're at a weird crossroads. We're at a weird little, uh, moment here but i kind of feel like with everything that happened recently this is this is ultimately the decision that i think is going to end up being the best for me i i will go play other games where they you know actually want people to play those games and the people and the community want to you know see those videos see celebration of that game and how great it is and just, you know, something we can really, really share our enthusiasm in together. It's always been a core thing I've been about. And if even the, uh, if even the developers of the game, be they even just in Japan, don't want the community to share in their enthusiasm for things, well, then I won't. Then I just won't. There's plenty of games out there. I had a conversation with my friend today that there are way too many video games. Let's, uh, let's see if we can do something fun with all of those video games that do exist out there in the world at large. Anyways, gang, that's it for me. 
I've rambled long enough. Kawaii 50 hoping you have a phenomenal day. Thank you for watching to the very end of this channel update if you're still here. And uh, I'll see you in the next one, which will be something completely new. Take care, and bye-bye.